Everything we have used to make this video contains plastic. The camera right in front of me, the computers, the microphone, and let's not forget the keyboard used to write this script. Newsflash, I'm still not drinking coffee. Welcome back in the old school Fungi Studio. Plastic has consumed our world over the last 100 years or so, and honestly, it's a pretty fantastic invention. It's light, it's durable, for the most part it's strong, won't get eaten that easily by the natural world. And of course, the number one reason why we live in this plastic world, it's cheap. The next bit is an excerpt of our fungal ecology course. You can get a free sneak peek in the link below. In many ways, plastic is an incredible invention, worth celebrating. That is, if we dispose of it correctly or cease mass producing single use plastics, but we don't do either. Therein lies the issue. According to a study published in the journal Science Advances in 2021, the total amount of plastic ever produced up to 2015 was approximately 8.3 billion tons. Of this astronomical number, only 9% is estimated to have been recycled. So um, where did that remaining 91% go? Of course, into our landfills, oceans, lakes, or into the air via incineration. Currently, the annual global production of plastic is estimated at 300 million tons. If we add that yearly production to the estimated numbers observed up to 2015, that means we currently have around 10.4 billion tons of plastic piling up around the world. That is, uh, just so you know, this many zeros. That is uh, this many kilograms or this many pounds of plastic. Like I had to look up what a number that has 13 zeros it's called, and it's a tridecillion, also known as a metric ton. Hey, just a quick interim. Do you want to support us by making more free mycology based contents? Please hit that subscribe button like the video and hit us up in the comments with your favorite fungi fact. Okay, back to plastic eating fungi. Before we get all depressed by that uh, astronomical number, there is of course hope. According to a paper published in May 2023 by the Kew Botanical Gardens, to date, 436 species of fungi and bacteria have been found to degrade plastics and the Q scientists believe that their latest findings could lead to the development of efficient enzymes designed to biologically degrade plastic waste, hopefully on a large scale. Of that whole armada of plastic eating fungi, for a hot minute, Pestalotheopsis microsporae is probably the most famous of the bunch. Since 2011, we've known that Pestalotheopsis microspora within anaerobic environments can break down polypropylene and polyurethane plastics completely. Up to today, large scale application of P microspora have yet to be found though. But a recent discovery might completely revolutionize the way that we deal with plastic waste. Enter Asbogetus thoraeus and its friend Angodontium album. These two fungi can completely break down polypropylene plastic after it has been pre-treated with either UV or heat. And this is especially striking because currently only about 1% of all polypropylene, often used in plastic bags and takeout food containers and such, is being recycled. Huh. I wonder where we can find a really large source of free heat and or UV. Huh. Do you know the free source, Corey? The sun. The sun. Yes, the sun. Okay. What is truly impressive about this a recent discovery is that it takes these fungi just 140 days to break down polypropylene completely. Let me uh, quote Dr. Ali Abbas. He says it's the highest degradation rate reported in the literature that we know in the world. And just as amazing, according to the paper published in Nature, initial tests have also found that these fungi can grow and survive directly on the surface of these plastics. Okay, what does that mean? For the future, let's play a little bit of a maybe optimistic thought experiment and see what the bright future we might have in store for us. Imagine it's the year 2050. I'm old and humanity has finally got to agree that cleaning up our trash is actually maybe worth that. The Ocean Cleanup Project by my fellow Dutchman Boyan Slaat has plenty of funding to make our oceans plastic free once more. All the plastics are carefully sorted and prepared for fungal consumption, maybe even 
by AI-assisted robots. Polypropylenes will be laid out in the sun, if you hadn't figured out that was the massive source of free heat and UV that I was talking about earlier, before moving to a special amyciliation chamber where it's fed and completely consumed by our fungal allies. Wouldn't that be great? Honestly, we have all the technology ready for this. At this point, it's just down to making a choice. Making more money from the Earth's resources or spending our time and energy to take care for our home. Making this globe a better place for all beings that live here. Look, I'm gonna be telling you that there's not gonna be any complications. And of course, there's gonna be many struggles along the roads that we will have to figure out when applying these technologies to a global scale. But remember that these fungi develop those traits completely by themselves, independently, in the wild. And what if we uh, start breeding fungi for their plastic-eating properties? We are at the cradle of a new and exciting field. And I have no doubt that with the help of our fungal allies, our descendants will be able to live in a plastic-free world. And if we make some quick decisions, you know, maybe you and I can already live in that future. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. All that YouTube jazz. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.